student? Uh, two years. Two years, probably. And recently I heard of a, a project idea that you had, mm -hmm. kind of based loosely around the idea that we only take photographs of happy occasions. Okay? Can you just explain that quickly to me? Yeah, I was looking at um, sort of family photos and portraits of Christmas and everybody smiling and in their best dressed and all that kind of thing. And it made me think that we only seem to record these happy moments and they don't necessarily depict the truth. Yeah. Uh, not that you know you need to photograph very grim things, yeah. but but it's not an accurate representation. Yeah, not of murder maybe. scenes or yeah, anything. yeah, exactly. But you know, just scratch the surface, and everybody's not necessarily as happy as they seem in photos. So. Perfect. Well, on that note, I'm going to show you this trick. Can you just hang on to that moment? You can sit on it, put it in your pocket. As long as you know, I can't change it. Okay. And don't drop it. I won't. Big round. And I also have some cards here, so I'm just going to lay it out. Okay. So this is really simple. It's not a choose a card kind of trick, but what you're going to do is just, are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. So raise your right hand up over these photos and move these mm -hmm. a little bit closer to you, okay? And you're going to just cast your hand over slowly, okay? So put, start here, start moving your hand across them, okay? Whenever you feel an urge to stop, just stop your hand. You can move back and forth as well, as many okay. times as you want. And whenever you feel a kind of, just any kind of urge to stop over them, just stop with your hand over. Don't actually slam your hand in. Here? Okay, yeah, here. Perfect, we're going to get rid of these. Okay? Now that leaves us with kind of two columns here, okay? okay. I'm going to say one word to you, that's the word violence, okay? Now, do the same thing again and you're going to choose a pile. This one here. Okay, perfect. Leaving us with just two photos. Just choose one for me. I'll go this one. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so what these are, are old photographs of couples on their wedding day. Okay. okay. Now, this could be relevant to you because you're recently engaged, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, just looking at these, how would you say that they all they all seem? Just make a, a judgment. I didn't yeah, want, they I all didn't seem want to happy. show. I didn't want you to see the photos when you were choosing them in okay. case you made a perception of them. But they, they all seem happy enough. Yeah. Great. Now, what this is totally about is my idea that we only take photographs of people that are happy. They're smiling mm -hmm. in it. Okay, but necessarily it doesn't necessarily mean that they're um, that they're happy just because they're smiling. You know, yeah. if you put a camera in front of someone, they're going to smile anyway. So there could be stories behind everyone. Now I can tell you right now that there's not really much stories behind these except that they got married and they lived happily ever after, essentially. But this is the thought that you chose, okay? Yeah. Okay, um, it's interesting that you chose this one because violence happened here. Now remember I said I want you to think yeah. of the word violence, okay? So this is a couple. And what I'm going to ask you to do is we're going to come up with a name. I want you to come up with a name for the guy and the girl, okay? Okay. So the guy's name would be? Am I going to tell yeah. you? His name would be Christian. Perfect. And the girl's name would be? Kira. So this is Christian and this is Kira. Yeah. The violence happened here. One of these murdered the other. Right. Okay. So I want you, I'm going to ask you to tear the photo just straight down the middle, okay? Perfect. Very good. Now, just pick them up. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I want you to look in their eyes. Okay, just make a judgment and just in your mind of each one, okay? And I want you to just drop one photo. Okay, so it's very interesting that you dropped that one because um, it was actually Kira that murdered Kill Christian. Him. Okay, <laughs> so you can put that down. What I'm going to tell you now is the story behind it. When, this is set in Donegal in 1930. They got married, but she was born into an arranged marriage, so she was forced to marry this guy, kind of against her will. Okay. But in those times, it would have been socially unacceptable for her not to do it. So she kind of shame her family if she didn't. So one day, three days into the wedding, she lost her mind in the house. She broke all the wedding gifts that they had. She ripped up all the photos of them from the wedding day, and she waited for him to get home. She came from behind with a carving knife. Oh my God, yeah. She slid him across the throat three times. The second time, it cut his esophagus, so he died. Now, I'm going to ask you just to tear that one in half as well. This one? Yeah, remember, it cut in the esophagus. So perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. I'm just going to just neaten those up like a little jigsaw almost. Very good. Perfect. Um, now, the neighbours heard all the noise because she was screaming, smashing things. She lost her mind. So they called the authorities. Now when the authorities arrived, they found, it was Kira, right? Okay. They found Kira huddled up beside his body on the ground. There was blood everywhere, blood in her hands. She was trying to piece together a photo of them back together. Mm. Well, like tape or solid tape yeah. or whatever. Okay, now she's still alive today. She's in a, in a home for the insane. <laughs> yeah, in the country okay, no doubt. He's, he's dead. So remember now, you chose this photograph from all these other couples mm, here. Yeah. And you narrowed it down and you said that you felt those ones and I said the word violence and you chose So none well. of those have any violence no, stories behind them? No, genuinely none of them, no. So remember at the start I gave you an envelope? Yes. Whip that out, just open, just gently open it up. You don't have to rip it open or anything. You saving it for later? Maybe. <laughs> oh my God. Kira and Christian, 1930, and he ripped it exactly where I ripped it to. 
Maybe just place it down. You also. are kidding me. Just How could you know there. those names? Wow, that's amazing. Unreal. That's creepy as well. Well done. Yeah. That has blown my mind. I can't believe that. I mean, when I was hovering my hand over the cards, I actually genuinely felt heat coming from that corner. So I kept sort of going back to it. And we eventually ended up with this photo uh, when he said, you know, this is not a happy ending. I thought, she looks dodgy. And I just thought it was funny. I instinctively thought she was the killer. But the fact that he has torn them exactly as I did, which is just a random act, and the names are written on the back, so he knew before I did what names I was going to give them. I just, it blows my mind, you know, how that was done. I can't figure it out. It feels very sort of supernatural, the fact that I was kind of drawn to that photo which is giving me a really cold chill.